mood diary. I decided to record how I feel every day. I think lots of people in this day may be struggling with emotions and feelings that are coming up. So it might be a good thing to see that you are not on your own. So today I feel a little bit, I would say, apathetic at this point. It is, I mean, UK, it is second week um, of quarantine. So everybody who can, they had to reset their lifestyle and work from home. So that's what I'm doing as well. And um, as cool as it sounds at the beginning, but somehow lack of freedom to go out and just to do things like go to restaurants or, you know, shops. Not that I would need to do it all the time, but just to kind of like knowing that possibility is not there, puts a little bit of a damper on the mood. Also, I think for me personally is seeing friends and people that I care about. So, so mainly friends and acquaintances, colleagues that I'm working with as well. It's like such a weird situation not to be able to see them for such a long time. I feel at the same time, I feel lucky because I um, am stuck in a really good situation I have people in my household who I get on really really well and they are supportive and I think we all kind of like we don't really get on to each other's nerves I think we're quite conscious in um, in that way how we feel what our mood is like and sometimes sometimes even what happens like at least for me um, I feel good in the morning and then the mood changes as the day progresses or I have a quite uplifting feeling in the morning and then sometimes actually when I read something you know like something horrible happening or something that affects the way I feel and then I feel a bit of a damper on my mood so yeah so today Today, at the moment, I would say six and a half out of ten. Um, I don't feel like I had any like crises or panics or anything like that. A uh, new thing that I started doing is a short workout in the morning. There is a live stream um, of high intensity interval training that is being um, broadcasted live on YouTube each day, Monday to Friday. So I, a friend recommended it to me, so I tried that. And I think it did make a difference, at least for me, to kind of like in um, um, my energy levels, probably, and also um, the fact that my body feels more alive and lively, more kind of moved. But it is interesting that I feel like I need to sleep more in these days. I don't know if this is something that everybody's been feeling, but it's strange that we seem to be doing less, but at the same time wanting to sleep more. Would that mean that we've been sleep deprived all the time and we've been running on a short tank of our sleep or would that mean that this kind of like slowed down lifestyle also slows down everything else and we need to spend more time in hibernating and things are just slower. So I don't know. Well, actually, I feel that um, I'm, I'm, I'm handling all of it quite well. Um, luckily, I don't have any people who would be affected by by this. And I feel 
that at least in the UK I'm lucky where I am because um, it's nice to go to exercise or to go for a walk at least once per day or at least to have that option so yeah so that's the mood for today let's see I just I just felt like I wanted to start to do something consistent and continuous and something that wouldn't be too scripted but would be like a real snapshot of a real life um and let's see where that takes us i hope you are having a good day and a good week